Uh, I'm Joseph. Some of you guys might have seen me around. Yeah, I've gone to Community of Hope uh, probably midsummer. Started going. Uh, but I've been going to the young adults since probably February. Uh, so yeah, I grew up in a Christian household. Uh, went to a Christian school all the way till I graduated. So I knew about the Bible and God and everything. I don't know, for me, it felt like it was uh, like being in a Christian household. It was kind of just like shoved down my throat and I kind of just didn't want anything to do with it much. But in September 2021, I, I started doing part-time classes for engineering and then I committed full-time in the winter and for the winter semester, I met a girl uh, in one of my chemistry classes uh, and she did um, a presentation on, on the weed molecule and uh, I thought she was cool so I started hanging out with her and eventually she started introducing me to her friend group and they're all a bunch of um, party people too. Uh, but uh, those guys were like, um, hardcore party guys, uh, the stuff that uh, they did was like hard drugs and all that stuff. So when I started hanging out with them, I told myself, uh, I'm not gonna hang out with, or I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the stuff that they're doing. That's that was my limit. But then uh, one day, one evening. Uh, they invited me to join them, and I did. I joined them, and I thought to myself, this was too good. I'm never gonna do it again, or else I'm gonna become addicted. Yeah, from that point on, my life revolved around like chasing the next kind of high, like what kind of things would bring me to that level of, you know, good feelings. You know, me hanging around with those guys changed me and it also led me to uh, lose a good friend I had for 10 years. Yeah, I lost a decade-long friendship and it made me... After that happened, I was lost for a while and I was just searching for whatever. And at my lowest moment, I bought a whole bunch of weed and alcohol and I was gonna call up that girl I met and then I was gonna say hey let's 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 party I was ready to throw my life away at that point but yeah for for some reason I remembered um, Evan because he kept on inviting me to the young adults and uh, it, it just happened to be that night was also a young adults night so I texted him, hey, is there young adults? And he was like, yeah, come on over. <laughs> Which I did. I, instead of going with that girl, I made the decision to go to young adults. And it was honestly the best decision I ever could have done for my life. Because it, it reintroduced me to God. And yeah. Re reintroduced me to God, and it, it also, uh, I guess I also truly felt like God's love when I was searching for him on my own, versus when it was forcibly shoved down my throat. <laughs> Our young adult leader uh, told me this, um, he said, you know, guys have like, or humans have like an innate worship, or innate feeling to worship something. Uh, like you go to concerts, people raise their hands to worship, you know, to enjoy the music. It's like a form of worship to the, the artist. And in that sense, I guess like when I was searching for my, like something to worship, I guess God kind of called me to him. He's like, hey, you can worship me through young adults instead of doing this partying thing. My life has been like, it's been going up. It's always been going up, like ever since then.
I've been blessed in so many ways. Um, like, especially, uh, you know, financially, which is something I never even thought about. Uh, and, you know, being blessed in that sense, it also allowed me to go on a missions trip to Uganda. And when I went on that missions trip, I, I don't really know why I went. I just felt, felt God calling me to go. And my mindset going into the trip was, all right, God, I'm here. What do you want to tell me? Um, so, yeah. When uh, on that trip, I, I felt uh, God call me. He was kind of calling me out because I held on to like a lot of guilt from the person who I was. And um, when when we went to go do worship with the kids, they were just so spiritually free, regardless of their situation, because um, they knew that they were like with God, like they they had no reason to worry or do whatever. Yeah, they're just so free. And in that moment, um, God was like, you know, you're you're a Christian, you're one of my people. So why don't you give your regret to me? I was uh, literally on my knees crying while they were doing worship because of what I felt. And it was, it was such like a profound moment. So I'm still uh, friends with a lot of the guys I used to party with. And then um, a couple of them, they'll like call me out. It's like, hey, wanna hang out for a bit? Wanna go for a smoke? Uh, and they'll go for a smoke. I won't smoke with them, but uh, usually it's always to like talk about issues in their life, uh, just talk about like what's going on. And you know, some of them ask me questions about uh, about life, cause like I've told them, hey, I'm like fully Christian now, so I'm not really gonna party with you anymore. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. And uh, when we have those nights where we go out and talk, they'll ask me all these uh, questions about the Bible, it's like questions about like how I deal with life, and you know, I just tell them, I don't know. I, I'm with God. I, you know, I leave it up to Him, and yeah, just put my faith in it. And uh, and one of those friends, um, we've been talking a lot, and she was actually invited to go to uh, a Christian, a Christian club at her school, and um, and she went. She went because she thought about uh, all the times, like she was curious about like Christianity and all that stuff. So yeah, the other day she told me about it and I was, I was just so happy for her. It was literally made my day hearing that. Just go. Even if you don't like it, it wouldn't hurt to go for one night. Because who knows, maybe it'll change your life like it changed mine. I am serving in the youth. I'm a youth leader. Yeah, I love it. I love these kids. They're just amazing. They're honestly an inspiration to me as a Christian.